So I'm up in the mountains by Lewistown, Montana, just having a good time at my friend's cabin. This morning I don't have too much going on, so I thought I'd do a video for you guys. I just want to show you my first aid kit. I've gotten so many messages about it. You know, I get comments about it all the time. They want to know what I carry with me. And this is the kit. Now, it doesn't have medications in it. I keep that in a separate pack. And really, you guys don't really need to see that. That's going to be personal to whoever you are anyway. But I do want to say this is not a trauma kit. This is not for W-R-O-L. It's not for the end of days or anything. It's for backpacking, fishing, little annoyances, you know, stubbing your toe, getting a scrape kind of thing out in the mountains. And it's great to have. Now, this is in a Badlands medical bag. They're very cheap. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. Just heavy duty is all else. It's something I really like. If I saw more for sale, I'd pick more up. I mean, 10 bucks for a bag that's going to last forever. I mean, heavy duty zippers and everything. Let me unzip it and show you what I got in here. Now, it goes on my EDC pack, like I said, most of the time. And I just clip it by this little nylon piece, and it does hold up. So that's good to know. But on the inside, we've got a little Nalgene bottle full of alcohol. This is isopropyl, 90%. You can use it to start fires or whatever you need it to do to clean a wound or whatever. It would probably hurt, but, you know, sometimes you got to do it. I've got some Quick Clot Sport here. I've had to use this stuff. It really burns. It heats up when you're holding it. It's hard to hold on to, but it has worked for me in the past. Now, I know a lot of people talk about Cellox. It does work, too. I do have some, and I usually keep that in a different pack for those emergencies, but... Yeah. Inside the bag, you get this organizer, which I really love. This is probably the best part about this pack. It comes with this. A little organization bag. And you can see just the inside of the pack has nothing else in it. This is awesome. It keeps everything organized. You can fold it up. You can see the awesome Badlands logo on the back here. Just awesome. So let me show you what I got in here. Start with this bottom pocket, which has more medical stuff. I've got some quick clot again. I do have a little tiny medications like this. That's just a painkiller. Gas X. Up in the mountains, eat some you don't want to eat, and uh, you know it's good to have when you're going on long hikes. So you got uh, some Zeiss cleaning wipes for eyeglasses for anybody. I've got some Vaseline cocoa butter for your lips when you're out in the wintertime. Your lips chap, and it hurts unless you have something. I have some Curid non-stick pads. These absorb stuff. They work great. I've got a face shield, which is good to have. Hope I never have to use one of those. I got a little bit of tape here. Some Advil. I got a little scalpel here, and it is sanitary. It's inside the pack in case I need it. And I've had to use one before, and it didn't feel good, but it did work. I got some Sudafed here for allergies, Imodium. I got some Cortade Advanced Anti-Itch Cream. When you're in places where there's poison ivy and stuff like that, or you get bee stings or bug bites, it's good to have stuff like this. I've got some gloves here in a bag. These are kind of neat. These are basically betadine and they're just little swabs to disinfect an area I think I have two of those in here pull out the other one I like those a lot for all my kits I have some neosporin here well used I always get the high strength stuff and here's some cell ox wound seal I have a steripen good for stopping little bleeding I've got some Aura gel, which is great for toothaches when you're out and about. Some antibiotic here. And I've got some wound closure strips. I saw I see a lot of people put, you know, different types of I don't know, ways to seal a wound. Where you're talking about stitches and you know sutures and everything like that and the fact of the matter is, I've had to go through a lot of that stuff. I got trained in it once, and a lot of those sutures are site-specific, meaning different sizes for different sides of the body, and, you know, you can't use one for all. Sometimes you need a smaller one, sometimes you need a larger one, and most people just don't have the training, and I found that having something like, you know, these wound closure strip, strips, 
are great to have. I mean, they'll just hold it all together like tape or super glue. That works just as well. All right, next one here. So I've got some cough drops. Cough drops are great to have, especially when you're hunting. Nothing more annoying than seeing the big one and coughing and scaring it away. I've got some floss here. Floss is great. Toothbrush. I love having clean teeth. I just took a real nice toothbrush, cut it in half, and you got a micro toothbrush. And I've got some wet wipes here. Antibacterial for taking a bath. Okay, now let's get to this top. I'm not going to take out the rest of that other one. We've got some aloe vera. One of the most useful things you can have. I mean, if you have a cut and scrape, you can put it over the top. Helps you. If you have burns, it helps. So many little things you can use aloe vera for. One of the most useful items that I personally own. I've got super glue here, unopened. I probably should tape that to keep it from opening, but this pack is pretty padded. I've got some vapor inhaler. This is Vicks. You open it up, put it on your nose, breathe in, opens your passageways and it's easy to breathe. I've got the lid to the super glue. Here we just have bandages and moleskin. I don't want to take all that out. It's just regular band-aids, probably four or five different sizes, some knuckle ones and everything like that. And here's some really useful stuff you guys should probably see. A little hard to get out. And it's often overlooked in almost every pack that I see. First of all, amazing tweezers. I got these tweezers at a, a girl's store. One where they do all the styling and everything like that. Best tweezers I've ever owned. I mean, they can pull out just about anything. Amazing. Tweezer Man brand. Remember that. I've got some more Tweezer Man brand. These are nail clippers for your toes. And they're just super powerful. I've got Flintstone feet. I need powerful little nail clippers, and these do the job great. Next thing we'll have here is another one of those if I can get it out. This is the joy of doing a video with no editing. So I got some nail clippers for your fingers, finger nail clippers. Just as powerful. Great Tweezer Man brand. And the last thing I have are these. These are Fisker scissors. And they unfold. They're great to have. I mean, you never know when you're going to need them. And they're heavy duty for what they are. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. That's what's inside my first aid kit. Remember, like I said, my medications are in a different pack. That's all going to be specific to the person. Remember, in my opinion, sutures are, you know, only for the trained professional and they're site specific. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I have in my pack. So rate, comment, subscribe, do a video response if you want. And I'll talk to you guys later.